Hello everyone, my name is Syntex and welcome to another Wayfinder video. In this video, we'll look at some of the upcoming features to be expected from Wayfinder and the situation regarding PlayStation updates and server transfer progress. Also, possible upcoming seasonal events and map changes and upcoming weapon coloring options to the game, server-wide timer for world boss events. On top of all of that, we're also gonna take a look at the recent patch that they added which enabled respecking. Also, what will happen to weekly updates and what will happen to the websites since Digital Extremes is no longer the publisher. Yeah, I'll ask to talk about, so without further ado, let's go right into the video. Please, if you want more content like this, subscribe to the channel so I can make more content for you guys. With that being said, let's go right into the video. So regarding PlayStation updates, we all know that PlayStation will not receive updates due to Digital Extreme leaving as the publisher and they lost access to PlayStation account so they are no longer be able to update the PlayStation client. This has been a huge issue for PlayStation players because they haven't been receiving the latest update for their game. One of the Airship Syndicate community manager, Sir Snuff, been talking about this recently. They have already been making progress with Sony. They already submit all necessary files and documents to get access to their account so they can update PlayStation client so everyone can play crossplay once more. They also ask the PlayStation players to be patient as they are working as fast as they can to make this happen since they cannot make this progress go any faster since they are waiting confirmation from Sony. So please be patient while they are working with the Sony to, to solve this issue. The developers of Airship Syndicate have shared some of new and upcoming features to Wayfinder, one of which is the dice for your weapons which will allow you to customize your character even further. The Airship Syndicate developer Ron said that everything you see here from a developer build and don't expect everything to come to the game since all of these are from a developer build. We also got some screenshots from the same developer which shows us the snow covered versions of Skyline and Highline which goes to show that they are working on a seasonal theme or something similar for December update. Also, with the next update, we'll get a new background music for Skylight as well. It will be something like this. In other news, we got confirmations from the developer that they are working on a server-wide timer for world boss events. This will make it so that you will know exactly when the world boss will spawn, allowing you to farm them efficiently. A question that the people are keep asking from the development team at Ship Syndicate is that are they looking for a new publisher or they are gonna publish them game by themselves? The answer for this is, as of right now, they are gonna do it by themselves. But we don't have any more information about what will happen in the future. Regarding weekly update called Wayfinder Wednesday. They said that there are no Wayfinder Wednesday for foreseeable future. As they didn't control the website, it was written by DE content team and sadly they don't have any authority over the website. Because of this, Wayfinder Wednesday will well not return for foreseeable future. To end out this video, let's talk about the new patch we got which enabled respecking for your characters. Let's go through all the changes they've done with this patch. PlayStation players will be able to play as normal but unfortunately they will not receive this patch or play crossplay with PC until we able to update the patch with to Sony. Respecking has been something we've been working on since last week and have run into various issues but believe we have fixed them. If you feel the need to disable this due to other issue popping up, we will. Affinity respecking has been enabled, no issue. There has been a bug since launch that the first point that you apply doesn't apply status. We are aware and will address this in the in a future patch. Also at times the stats may not update until you close the window and then, and then re-entering. Alright guys, that's it for the video today. I went through more of the technical side of things and did not go through a lot of the cosmetics and changes that they're doing for especially like special events and stuff. If you want more information about that, I highly recommend you go watch Atlantic video. I will link a, leave a link in the description for you guys to go check him out. He did a pretty good job explaining in terms of cosmetic features that come into the game. I went through most of the technical features like servers. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in the next video. Syntax out.